In this video, I'm going to solve a problem wherein the moment diagram is given and we are required to draw the corresponding load and Q diagram. Okay. So this is the problem and this is the moment diagram. So let's draw some lines. This requires background on area method to be able to understand how to draw or to be able to understand the values um, found the uh, moment diagram. Okay, let us first draw the moment diagram here. So, it's a second degree curve. We have 160. Concave downward, and then this one 120, and then straight line. So, this is second degree, and this is first degree. Second degree. This is our moment diagram. Now, the shear diagram. Okay. Pag concave downward ang moment, or pag second degree ang moment, it means na first degree ang shear diagram. And since this is the maximum moment, sa shear diagram, zero ang shear na. So, now, so shear diagram since positive siya, from 0, 0 to 160 positive increase. So ang area sa shear diagram positive sad. So it's either ang area sa shear diagram is this one, straight line. Test na to ha. So if if money ang shear diagram, ang moment ana is second degree. Concave uh, forward. Now, dili consistent dere kay concave downward man. So therefore, ang correct ani is what? The, the other the other diagram. This one. Para kung mag second degree ka, ingon na ani, pero positive man. So, a mirror ni mo. So, if follow, if follow there, eh. that's a mirror. Pag mirror, ma second, ma concave downward. Siya. So, ang correct na diagram is this one. So, we have, and then mag zero shear siya. Straight na dere. Eh. Kay second degree man. So, okay. Let's erase. Now, <clears throat> the distance is given for and two. Okay. Okay. Six money. So two. And unknown is yeah. Let us say why. Okay. Now, the area of this, the area of this is equal to 160. Okay. Area is a shear diagram is equal to change in moment man. So from zero to 160, the change in moment is 160. So area na and to solving for y, we have this one. One half of okay. this one here. One half of four times y equals 160. So we can solve for y uh, using shift solve uh, one half of four times x. Ah, equals one sixty. Shift solve x is e p. So e p and x. Now, 
for this value, let's assume na z na, or let's let's consider this one as z. So, kini na area sa is equal to the change in change in moment, no? So from one sixty, ni drop siya o ni drop siya to one twenty. It means there is a decrease of forty from one sixty to one twenty. Nag-decrease siya of 40. Ang decrease na 40 is equal to this area. So, ano na so? One half of 2 times Z equals 40. So, Z here is 40. Said. So, negative 40 na. Okay, below the horizontal line. Now, <clears throat> Next, okay. From this point to this point, straight line, ja, which means na ang shear diagram na horizontal, okay, horizontal, and negative man, okay, one twenty to zero man, so negative na, so one twenty <coughs> equal na dere, so kung Yes, you na to na 40 said 40. I confirm na to. Ang area ni Ang area ni is equal to the decrease in moment so from 120 to 0 nagdecrease og 120. So i check na to. Ang area sa dani um 40 times 3 120 man said so consistent ah dire ra siya. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is your shear diagram. Okay. Now, after this, we cannot draw the low diagram. Okay. So, so low diagram from shear from zero it goes up to EP. So probably it's a reaction okay, upward one. So. Anyway, we'll check that later kung reaction mo dyan. So, you have RA, oh, point RA, uh, EP. Okay. And then, pag ang shear diagram is straight line, it means na horizontal or uniformly distributed ang load. From point A up to this point. No? So, we have this one. Okay. So, the next problem is how to determine the value of the uniform load. The distance is 6 meters. So, Kenya said omega. What's the value of omega? And using area method, the area of the load diagram is equal to the change in shear. And the change in shear is this one. From EP, to negative 40, there is a drop of 120. 80 man, 80 to negative 40, nag drop siya o 120. Or simply 80 plus 40, 120 na. So, the change in shear na 120 is equal to the area of the load diagram. So, bali, 6 times omega equals. 120. So therefore, omega is 20. This is 20. And the unit is kilonewton per meter. Now, next. <clears throat> okay. So, the diagram ng horizontal line, which means na walay loader eh. No load and at this point, nag move siya upward 40. So probably reaction siya. So we have this roller, para hinge and roller, and we have this reaction. Let us say point B. So we have RB equal to 40. Okay. So this is our load diagram. So, checking 
Okay, let's check. Summation of force sa uh, vertical. I-check na to if ang upward force is equal to the downward force. Ang upward is ET ET plus 40. Is it equal to this one? Uniform load. The resultant is 20 times 6. So, 120 equals 120. So, check siya. The second checking is, let's sum up moment about A. Dere. And i-compare na to ang clockwise moment and counterclockwise moment or let's determine if the, the total moment is equal to zero. Okay. Sige. Summation of moment about A, ang resultant sa kinina load is 120, di ba? This one. 120. 20. 20, uh, 20 times 6. And ang distance niya na is 3. Sige. So, I'm sure the moment about A. That's negative 120 times 3 plus 40. This one. The distance is 9. So, i-check na to kung equal ba to 0. So, Negative 360 plus 360 zero equals zero. So, check. So, again, this is the shear diagram. And this is our moment diagram. That's it. So, in, in solving this type of problems, you have to master... Um, relationships among load shear and moment para uh, masabdan ni mo ang changes in value sa moment and shear. So, I hope that you have learned something from this one. Thank you for watching.